I swear to you, she said mama for the first time on Mother's Day. currently in South Korea right now, so I've been stressing a little bit. I wanna do something thoughtful for Bella. It's hard being out of the country. So I've really been thinking of what I can do, so I went down to the front desk. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. In the United States, we celebrate Mother's Day. Is there any way that I can have you guys um, put flowers in our room for my wife? Do they do like flower delivery? It's her first Mother's Day, so. I ordered flowers. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. we're going to church here in Korea, which I'm really excited to go do and I told them at 10.30 to come in our room, set up the flowers, we'll see how it goes. I just wanna say, Bella, you're the best mother ever to this little girl. And you, Story, you have the best mom on the planet. I hope you can one day look back at this video and know how awesome of a mom you have. I also cannot forget the amazing lady who brought Story into this world. She's an angel to Bella and I here on this earth. Bella, I love you, Story loves you. Hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you for being such a wonderful mom to Story. Whoa. What the? <laughs> what on earth, Kelly? Read the note. How did you do that? What do you mean? Wow. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That's so nice. <laughs> How did you do that? I didn't go to the gym yesterday. I went down and ordered these. <laughs> I don't know what else to do here in Korea. Oh my gosh, Sound. These are like the most amazing flowers I've ever gotten. That is beautiful. Today is Mother's Day and we're in Seoul, Korea. It's my very first Mother's Day today. Did you think you'd spend your first Mother's Day in Seoul, Korea? I did not think I would be here for my first Mother's Day, but it has been a dream. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. I can't believe that I'm celebrating Mother's Day this year. After so many heartbreaking Mother's Days, it feels very, very surreal. Story and I think you're the best mom that's ever walked this earth. <laughs> ever. You're the best. And will be. I love you. I love you. We have a fun day planned. So we're just gonna get right into it. Story gave me the best Mother's Day present this morning and she actually, I swear to you, she said mama for the first time on Mother's Day. Thank you so much. Bye. Nice to meet Bye, you. Story. Bye, Story. Bye, Bye. Where are you from? From the Philippines. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. We just met someone who watches our videos from the Philippines. That's All the so way cool. in South Korea. So if that's you, thanks for talking to us. That always makes my day when people say hi. It makes me so happy. Right now we are headed to the top of the Namsam Tower. I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. I guess what you do is you take a cable car up to the top. Our Uber driver was not the best driver. He dropped us off in the wrong spot. So we're walking right now. We're getting a little workout in. All right, let me push the stroller. She's out here. I was waiting in this little waiting area with Story, and but I was videoing, and Story literally said, "Mama." That was the best moment of my life. They packed that car. Oh my gosh, we were slammed in there. That was a beautiful view coming up. You can see the whole city out there. It smells good up here. It's like fresh. It does smell really good up here. This is so cool. We're gonna get a little love lock and write my first Mother's Day on here. It all started with a wink An unassuming little thing That has led us here today She was not one for the bar We only lived mere miles apart More like a second chance away We had both loved and lost, and we'd both been on first days. First Mother's Day. But this one was different, and now I say. Absolutely blown away with how big this city is. 
I gotta figure out how many people live in Seoul, Korea because there's just so many buildings, it's wild. I feel slightly ashamed that we just ordered a full American meal up here in Korea, but it was really our only option, so we just had burgers and hot dogs and fries. I feel bad about that. I really wanted to eat Korean barbecue, but it was too busy up here. There was no openings for a reservation, so we had to do what we had to do. I got a burger and fries. Just good old American pride. It's getting cold. <laughs> Are you sure? Thank you so much. Wow. Say bye, thank you. That is so nice. Everyone's so nice. They got these socks. Let me see your new socks, sorry. Let me see your new socks. Literally everyone just keeps coming up to Story and giving her gifts because they love her and it's just so nice. Like, it's the nicest thing. Everyone's too nice. I'm really glad we went to the top of that because I think it put into perspective how big this city really is. It just looked like it just went for forever. Plus the views were amazing and it smelled really good up there. The air was just so fresh. It looked like there were some cool shops over there so we'll see what we can find. We just found our favorite dessert, Tanghulu. It's our favorite. I'm so excited. Right now. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank you. Okay. You gotta take all of it. He said, are you gonna eat all those? And I said, yes, we're American. <laughs> no problem. clothing and we're gonna walk to the temple this is something that a lot of people do here so we get to pick out like our skirt and they even have one that's story size basically just start by picking your skirt and I picked a pink skirt with some yellow flowers on it and then they basically get you dressed in the traditional clothing it's so cool to be able to know what they wear for the traditional clothing and I'm excited for story to have this experience too well, should I go all black black and gold, gold yeah. kind of swaggy yeah. <laughs> there she is. You put your arm in. Oh. Wow. Story, we're matching. Ooh. What do you think? You have a bear? Story found a teddy bear. Yeah, you look so beautiful, my girl. I do this hat. This one? This one. That's the king? That's epic. I think this, this is the Korean king king's hat, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. How's the fit? It's fire. Story. You have a pretty in your hair too. Look how pretty we're getting our hair done. This is so cool. <laughs> what are we doing right now? This is so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. The problem with this hat is I already have such a long head. It just makes my head look like two feet <laughs> no, even you longer. Look good. You look but I like good. it. Story. Story is really the main attraction here. Every single person that walks by here just can't get enough of it. <laughs> Everybody. See what I got. I want it to get older where the flowers hit the trees, where the lakes go to the rivers, and the rivers throw a freeze, raise a couple kids. This palace is so beautiful. It's so cool wearing the traditional wear in front of this palace and learning a little bit more about the history. Hello. Plus, Tori looks really cute in this outfit. You look really cute. She's a vibe. <laughs> I think the craziest thing for me still is that we are in South Korea. <laughs> like this is just the coolest thing ever and just such a dream. Like I'm forever grateful that we have the opportunity to be here as a family. Like, wow, we're just standing here as a family in South Korea. I'm just so grateful. Cafe. 
apparently that like Seoul is known for cafes. So we're gonna try a bunch of the pastries and then we're gonna get some lunch. Is that yummy? She loves it here. So far there's only one thing that I found that I don't like about South Korea. And it is the size of their water glasses. This is a this shot is glass. A, this is a shot glass, it's a sip. I gotta refill it like 15 times to keep it. The biggest perk of Korea that I've learned so far is you can literally leave anything at any time and no one will steal it. We just left our stroller fully stocked out here and I felt very comfortable about doing it because I've read that like basically it's very safe to leave things, no one steals here, so it's still here. Another pro tip for while we're traveling, we do not travel with a stroller, but if we need a stroller in a location, we will rent one. So we rented this one and it was like $4 a day. We're walking up right now to Bukchon Village and we're going to an area where there still is the traditional houses. And it's pretty cool because on the map it says that when you enter into this area, you gotta be quiet because people still live there. And they actually have visiting hours for people to come in and visit. And luckily we're here during those visiting hours. So we're gonna go check it out right now. We're going uphill wow. and I'm pushing a stroller. I'm carrying a baby. This is epic. So this is the street that people still live on. They're like old, old houses. And it looks so cool. I feel like this is the kind of like street that you see in movies, but it's here in real life, which is so cool to see. Story, what do you think? <laughs> We've definitely walked the most today out of all the other days, I'm pretty sure. And uh, we're exhausted. Story's taking a really good nap though, which is nice. We're getting on the subway right here. We're headed back to the hotel. We're gonna just chill for a little bit and then head out because it's our last night here in Seoul. So it's our last night here in Korea. We got to finish it off with the traditional Korean barbecue. Last time we came to do barbecue, the guy cooked for us. We didn't know what we were doing. Tonight, check down. Why don't they have this at home? Okay, it's kind of funny. I figured out how to order, even though everything is in Korean. I just got this Coke. I'm gonna order us another water, and they come in 20 seconds. Watch. I just kind of guessed, and then watch. It's gonna come in 20 seconds. Watch, watch, watch. Just wait. Six, five, Four, three, two. Thank you. Thank you. And then you have water. Hey, bye, Korea. See bye, Korea. Bye. Korea. <laughs> bye. We had so much fun in Korea. You ready to go to the next spot? Let's go to. It on something.